Welcome to Mathematics with M's. Grade 10 algebraic expressions. We're still busy with factorization. And now we're going to look at more advanced quadratic trinomials. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Factorizing more advanced quadratic trinomials. Now the method to factorize these trinomials is a little more involved than with the previous trinomials. A suggested method is as follows and will be discussed in the examples that follow. Step one, write down the product options of the first and the last terms. Step number two, write down the product options in a table format. Step number three, select any product option from the first and the last term and write these options using what is called the cross method. Then multiply the agony. Step four, add and subtract the products in order to get the middle term. Step five, obtain the factors by reading off horizontally. Right, let's look at the following examples. A. 21x squared plus 25x minus 4. So step 1, write on the product option with the first in the last terms. So 21x squared can be 1x, 21x, 7x or 3x. And options for 4 can be 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. So step 2, write the product option in the table format as follows. The first term, 21x and 1x, 7x and 3x. Then the last term, 1 and 4, 4 and 1, 2 and 2. Now the product option, 1 times 4 for the last term, must also be written in the reverse order as 4 times 1. That is not necessary for the product option for the first term. Step 3, select any product option from the first term and the last term and write these options using what is called the cross method and multiply diagonally. Like 7x times 4 is 28x, 3x times 1 is 3x. Step 4, the strategy is now is to get a middle term 25x from 3x and 28x using different signs because the sign of the last term of the trinomial is negative. So insert the C signs as indicated below. So, step 5. The factors are now obtained by reading off horizontally. The first factor is 7x minus 1. The negative sign for 1 comes from the negative 3x, remember? And the second factor is 3x plus 4. The positive sign is 4 comes from positive 28. So therefore, the final answer is 7x minus 1 in the first bracket and 3x plus 4 in the second bracket. Take note. This method involves trial and error, and you need to keep trying different options until you get one that will work. For example, the following option will not work. If you have 7x times 1, for instance, and 3x times 4, so if you switch 1 and 4, then you get 12x and a 7x, and that will not give you a 25. Definitely not. Let's look at the second example, 12x squared minus 11x plus 2. So the product options of the first and last term. So 12x squared can be 1x times 12x, 4x times 3x, 6x times 2x. And of course, 2 is 1 times 2 or 2 times 1. So if I cross multiply, I get negative 3x and negative 8x, which is negative 11x. That's what I'm looking for. And then the sign in the brackets must be the same because the sign of the last term of the trinomial is positive. So there you are, 4x minus 1, 3x minus 2. Let's look at the third one, 24x squared minus 10x minus y squared. So 24x squared will be 24x times 1x, 8x times 3x, 6x times 4x, 12x times 2x. And y squared is only 1y times 1y. So if I cross multiply, I get a negative 10x, what I'm looking for. So the 2x takes the positive and the 12 takes the negative. So the signs in the brackets must be different because the signs of the last term of the trinomial is negative. The options that works are as follows. 12x plus y, 2x minus y. 
Right, so I agree that this type of factoring is actually very difficult, but it, so therefore it is important that you must work through the exercise and I'll give you the solutions in the next page. Right, so here are the solutions to the exercise. As always, mark your work and double check that you can do it. Good luck. Right, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Maths or with Amps. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. And again, remember, subscription is free.